hello. Uh, my next video review is going to be done in a single take because I'm lazy. Um, this one is for the new Pearl Jam 10 Reissue box set, as you can see there. Um, it's not so much a review of the music as it is just going through the contents of the box because I'm pretty sure there'll be people who, uh, who are thinking of buying this but maybe they've hesitated because they don't know what's in there so I thought I'd show everyone who's interested. Um, I bought mine in the UK from HMV. You should go out and buy yours then. So let's go. So yes, a nice velvet box. Feels mm, lush. It's uh, quite heavy, but it looks lush. About the size of a vinyl times loads. <laughs> so I'll open this up now. That's a nice embroidered PJ there. It's about that big. Still nice smooth velvet. And it opens up like so. Alright, and now you see this folder. This is all the memorabilia. Uh, comes a nice cardboard jacket with a bit of cellar tape on there. So I'll just quickly go through the contents of this because there's actually some amazing stuff in there which collectors will love. So you get little, little things like you got. A jean patch, a tar pass that's laminated, a uh, replica concert ticket which goes with the drop in the park vinyl which I'll come on to later, some postcard, there's a porch from the back of the original album cover, that one's come out as a new t-shirt as well, it's also available at HMV, and you get the original Mucky Blaylock playing card, uh, for those who don't know before Pearl Jam were called Pearl Jam, they were called Mookie Blaylock. Uh, they changed it to a, probably a better name, but the album 10 is named after his uh, jersey number there. Mm. So also in this folder you get... Just open it up now. Nice uh, little photograph stills there from the 10 sessions. Nice and shiny. Uh, and you get this giant poster. Um, you may think it's advertising this re release, but the date is actually the original release date for 1991. You can just see on there August 27th. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool having a wall. I don't know if that's a replica of the original poster or not, because um, I was like a kid. <laughs> you also get some lush. Uh, these are like on Lush card and they're really nice. Just album credits, so they got like on the front they just got some nice photos that I'd love to put on my wall. <laughs> um, and on the back, each one has just the album credits for each disc and each vinyl. Some of them handwritten. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, the no code packaging with the Polaroids, a bit like that. So that's not all that's in this box, so uh, just get this like content summary and a st sticker from the shrink wrap on the back. Yeah, so this is uh, Eddie Vedder's replica of his lyrics notebook, but it's also got loads of good photos on there. It's, um, it's actually got quite a lot of pages, like about over a hundred pages in there. Um, it's hard to kind of see on this crappy website, but this webcam, <laughs> but it's just full of amazing tour schedules, photographs, lyrics, just general notes from the recording sessions. It really is worth a good flick through. They even mention some other grunge bands in there. Like Alice in Chains, Soundgarden. So yeah, it's like a staple piece for the grunge era. Um, <laughs> so inside the box, you got this baby. This is the original replica of the demo tape that they handed in to the record label so they could get a record deal. Um, 
I've not unwrapped mine because I don't have a tape player, so I might as well keep it sealed. Uh, a bit retro for me, but if you can see that, it says the, the only thing written on it is Four Stone, which is obviously Stone Gozard, the guitarist, one of the founding members. Um, if I remember rightly, it's got three tracks. I think it's Footsteps, which just didn't make it to the album, the original demo of Alive, and Once, if I remember. So, uh, you also get just like a download code because the vinyl of Drop in the Park uh, has never been released before and it's only on vinyl, so if you want you can listen to it in MP3, it's pretty cool. Um, it's a nice cardboard jacket where the uh, discs are kept. And they're just in uh, thin cardboard sleeves, as you can see, but it's still pretty cool. So you've got Ten, the original album remastered. You got uh, the Brendan O'Brien remix. Just uh, for those who don't know, Brendan O'Brien, he produced every album by Pearl Jam but the first one. So it's good to see his take on the album. It's really good. He adds a lot more punch to it, like so it kind of sounds like verses. Because if you remember the original, I had that Bon Jovi drenched in reverb kind of production but either way you listen to it it's amazing the Brendan disc also has six or seven uh, unreleased tracks including like Brother the original versions of State and Love and Trust and Breath it's pretty cool which appeared on the single soundtrack and you also get MTV Unplugged the DVD which is amazing because it's not been released before they should have released it on its own um, I've got that playing at the moment. It's pretty cool because even though they're doing an acoustic concert, they still rock out like their mandolists and uh, smash their guitars up in here. It's uh, a really good watch, it's an amazing performance. Better just goes insane. So, yeah, that's what's left in this little baby. But you still get four vinyl. Woohoo! So, you've got for the lovers of vinyl, you've got the original 10 album on Spin the Black Circle. That's just got the original album as it was produced. you got the Brendan O'Brien remix, but it doesn't have the bonus tracks, obviously, because it's signed. No, they've got rid of the, uh, the pink album cover that was the original release, in place of a nice gold one. You get this double LP gatefold of their drop in the park concert. It's from 1992. Got some amazing photos on the gatefold. Um, there's a trap listing. Uh, and it also comes with a nice poster, which I'd love to put on my wall, but you know, it's a collectible, so I want to keep it all together. And that comes as double vinyl, which is pretty large. So yeah, I think I got a good deal for my money's worth. And now, so should you. Yeah.